Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, and if you're interested in makeup and lifestyle videos, sprinkles of magic, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, I am so, so, so excited for today's video because we are doing a get ready with me, first impressions kind of video, and I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using the Encanto collection from Alamar Cosmetics, and first off, like, look how beautiful this packaging... Oops! Look how beautiful the packaging is. I absolutely love it. I'm so, so excited to see what's inside. Literally, you guys, I have this stored in my closet for like the past month of December, but then I've just been so busy with other makeup looks that I didn't get the chance to do it. And I didn't want to use this palette and make this video until I actually saw the movie. And I saw it on Christmas Eve, and it was so good, you guys. I've watched it two times already, and I've been listening to the soundtrack, and I absolutely love it. It's such a good movie, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and open the palette. I picked up the eye and lip bundle. I really, really wanted to pick up the mirror too, but then I didn't want to spend that much money on a mirror, so I didn't get it. But then maybe I might just pick it up, honestly, since I have all this and the collection is so beautiful. So let's go ahead and reveal the eyeshadow palette. Ooh, it is so, 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 so pretty. I absolutely love the vibrant colors. And I'm not sure what we're going to do today. I think I'm going to go probably with like a purpley pinky look maybe. And then maybe add a pop of green in there. But we'll see. But first off, you guys, I feel like the carton that it's in is so nice. And I really, really like how there's a mirror inside. And on the mirror, it says home is where the magic is because, you know, uh, casita is full of magic. So this is the pack of three brushes that I picked up and they are so cute and I already think I'm definitely gonna love them. Like they feel really soft kind of just like touching them and everything and I love the color combos. Again it's just a turquoise, a pink, and a purple and then they say this one says be precise and it's a liner brush and then on all of these it says I make this look easy which I think is so cute and then the pink one says says be bold and this is a packing brush and then we have this lavender brush which is obviously my favorite brush because obviously purple but it is so pretty I don't have any colorful brushes like all of my brushes are like black and like gold so I'm really excited to add these to actually no I have like blue brushes anyways this brush says I make it look easy as well and then it says blending brush and it says be consistent so I got these three eyeliners and I'm pretty sure there's only supposed to be one of the turquoise ones so shout out to you all of our cosmetics but again the packaging on these are so beautiful and again i just i'm really loving the vibrant colors in this collection hopefully you guys can see the packaging a little bit there but it has gold detailing on it and i think it is so pretty i'm really excited to try these out i see where the mistake was here guys i was supposed to get two lip liners and two lipsticks and then i was supposed to get only two of the eyeliners but instead i got three eyeliners and then two liquid lipsticks I think and then an eyeliner so I'm gonna have to reach out to them but that is good to know. The two lippies look like this and I think they are so 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 beautiful. Again you guys the packaging in this collection is absolutely stunning. I'm really really excited about it. These are two lip glosses and the red one is called Mirabella and then the purple kind of shade here is Dimelo Cantado. I'm really really excited to try these. Now let's go ahead and get into the look. I have no idea what we're gonna do today. It is like it's like eight o'clock but then by the time you guys are seeing this, it'll be past New Year's, but then I'm trying to shoot some pictures for New Year's because I wasn't going to, but then I just had this random burst of inspiration, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Ultimate Primer for my eyes. I definitely didn't want to do this video until I saw the movie because that's weird but anyways I really really enjoyed the movie like I thought it was really really good my favorite song from the movie would be Dos Ogoritas like that that whole scene is so touching overall I just thought that movie was really great and like that whole scene was my favorite part of the movie because it's just so touching I think that movies with a family really touch me instead of like a love story or something like that like I almost shed a tear I usually am not a crier but I almost shed a tear but I didn't Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow. First, I'm going to go ahead and take Jaguar Parking, and then I'm going to use that as my transition shadow. So in terms of, like, favorite characters for the movie, I obviously loved Mirabelle. Like, I think I love her because she is so relatable. So I especially, I especially love her as a Disney heroine because she is relatable. Like, I feel like she really is just like us, and she's really trying to just 
find her place like in her family and see her, where her value is and I feel like that is such a human story which I feel like makes the whole story even more beautiful. Okay so now that I have that shadow blended in I'm actually going to try to just use like as many colors as possible. I'm going to go ahead and take this little fluffy brush here and I'm going to use Familia first and then I'm going to work that in my crease. So I think today we're kind of actually going to do like a cut crease with a brown kind of on top and then smoke it out to be a green in the cut crease. You'll see the vision. Hopefully it comes together. Okay, you guys, I am definitely loving these shadows. They blend so nicely together, you guys. I'm obsessed. This is, I think I already mentioned this, but this is actually my first time using Alamar Cosmetics. I'm definitely going to have to test out more of their products in the future. Like, I really wanted to buy more things from the collection, but I already have so much makeup. But I really love the formulation, so I think I actually might really have to try things. And after I've blended that in, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with Jaguar Parking and then blend that out to just make sure that there's no harsh lines. But you guys, I really am really loving this formulation. I feel like everything is just so buttery smooth and they just really blend so well with each other. So I am absolutely loving Olimar Cosmetics so far. Okay, you guys, now that everything is blended together, I'm going to go ahead and carve out my cut crease. So I'm going to go ahead and use a small angled brush here and then I'm going to use I'm gonna go ahead and use my elf hydrating camo cream and then use that to help carve out the crease I usually would use my primer but then I don't think that this is actually like opaque so I'm gonna go ahead and just use concealer also you guys I know this video is about Encanto but I'm really really excited to watch the Little Mermaid live action and the reason I bring this up though is because Lin-Manuel Miranda he did the music for Encanto and he's also helping Alan Menken I think write new music or something or just helping the music for the live action Little Mermaid so I'm really really excited because this was just so beautiful like Lin-Manuel Miranda he just has such a way at pulling at your heartstrings with those lyrics so I'm really really excited to see what he does with the Little Mermaid I also want to mention too that practice really does make perfect like before I would only do half cut creases but I've been doing a lot more full cut creases and practice really does make perfect you really just have to keep practicing makeup like over and over again to like really perfect your craft I feel like that's with anything like if you want to be good at something you just really have to practice and not be afraid to start that's like my number one thing Now that I have the initial layer on, I'm going to go back in with a thin defining brush and really sharpen that crease. Also, for everyone who has a hooded eye, what I found most helpful is that after I put on the initial layer, I make sure I blink so like when I look up, you can still see the cut crease color. Now that the concealer is set in, I'm going to go ahead and take Porque I Can and then work that into my cut crease. Oh, you guys, I really like this look. It's really pretty. Okay. Now that that color is on, I think I want to do a different color for the outer third here, but I'm not sure what color I should do. I feel like this is definitely like the point in the look where it could go one way or another, so I'm a little nervous here, you guys. Like, should I just continue with like this minty green color here, or should I go with a different look? I have no idea. <laughs> I think I actually want to use Encanto. I have to use it. We're using the Encanto palette. So I'm going to go ahead and take Encanto, which is this beautiful blue color here. And then I'm going to work that in the outer third here of the cut crease, blending that shadow in with the lime green. Oh, you guys, that was like the best decision. It looks so pretty. Ah, 
I love it you guys hopefully you guys can tell the color it looks really pretty okay you guys so it's time for an inner quarter shadow and I'm gonna go ahead and use rise and shine Oh, you guys, this looks, looks stunning. I love it, you guys. Now that we have the eyeshadow on, I'm gonna go ahead and take a Q-tip and then some micellar water and then clean up the eyeshadow so it looks a little more sharp. So with a look like this, I feel like you definitely have to do some wing liner, so that's what we're going to do. Okay you guys, so the liner is on, it's time to put on the lashes. And I'm going to go ahead and use Lashes in Wonderland, of course, and I'm going to use Don't Be a Grinch. These have been my favorite from her holiday collection. So I'm gonna use these and I wanted to use these because with a cut crease you wanna have like a more flared out look on the edge so it helps really emphasize like the cut crease. Anyways, let's go put these on. <laughs> okay guys, it's time to put on the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on concealer and my under eyes. And then using my damp beauty blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything in. Then I think for my base today, I'm going to actually use my e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And I'm going to use this since we're going for a little bit more of like a glam look. So let's go ahead and use that. So now that I have my base on, I'm going to go back in with the palette and then I'm going to go in with Encanto and work that on my lower lash line, but then only focus that on the outer third of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with Pore K I Can and then work that on the inner third of my lower lash line. For contour today, I'm going to go ahead and use my new Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in the shade, oh, in the shade Fair Medium. And this is something new that I got for Christmas, so I'm really excited to try this out. So shout out to you, mom. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is stunning. Now for cheeks, I'm going to go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pinkasm, I believe. And I'm so excited. As you can tell, I got a lot of new Charlotte Tilbury makeup for Christmas. And if you guys haven't watched my What I Got For Christmas video, go ahead and check it out. I got a lot of other exciting things. You guys, we're trying all new makeup today pretty much. Or not all makeup, but still. A lot of new makeup that I'm really, really excited about. And of course, for highlighter, you guessed it, we are using my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. And this is in the shade Spotlight. The thing about these is that I definitely need to remember to close it. Because you have to like twist it to open and close. Oh, you guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, I think I put a little too much on the side, but it's still okay. I love it. It's so cute. For lips, I'm actually just going to go ahead and use colors that I already have because I think that with a red lip, this would be a little too much. So I'm going to go for like more of a muted lip. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the shade Cool BFF. Okay, and then for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use my M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud in the shade French Nude, my favorite. Cute! 
Okay, and then to top it off, we're gonna go ahead and use the lip gloss called Dimelo Cantado, which is kind of like this purpley eyeshadow not eyeshadow <laughs> this purpley lip gloss which is really pretty and I think this will go really good with the slip combo okay so this definitely was a lot more pigmented than I thought but either way you guys I really really like this look okay let's go ahead and get changed and then I'll be back okay guys here's the finished look I absolutely love it you guys I wish I wasn't just like taking this off and going to bed after but I'm really really excited with how this look turned out I think it looks so good like I might have to redo this look when people can actually see it but let's go ahead and talk about the makeup first off the eyeshadow palette I am absolutely obsessed with it you guys of course I talked about it earlier but the packaging is absolutely stunning like how beautiful are these like turquoise green and purple and pink colors I think it's absolutely beautiful and the shadows you guys I was so so impressed with the formula like all of the shadows really just blended together so perfectly I only used one two three four i only used four shades out of the palette but i'm so so excited to try more especially after creating this look everything blended so seamlessly it was so pigmented and it was just so rich and luscious and i absolutely loved it and i really like how the palette has a mirror i think it'd be super helpful especially for travel and i definitely think this is a palette that i'm going to be using in the spring and summer just because it's so vibrant and there's a lot more like vibrant colors which i feel like is kind of more spring and summer makeup so i'm sure during the warmer months you'll be seeing me use this palette a lot now to talk about the eyeshadow brushes i didn't actually use it in this look so I'm so sorry but I really like them I think they're super cute and kind of just like based off of how they feel they feel so soft and so smooth so I will update you guys once I have more thoughts on these brushes and for the lip products I only used the gloss which I actually really love like this lip combo is so good like I think if I'm looking for a little bit more of a glam look like I am today I will definitely use this lip gloss with my favorite lip combo. So using my ColourPop BFF lippy pencil in the shade Cool BFF and then M Cosmetics French Nude with Dimelo Cantado will be the perfect glam nude look. So I really, really like the gloss and I'm so, so excited to try out more products from LMR Cosmetics. I was really impressed with the eyeshadow and you guys know I love doing my eyeshadow so I'm really excited to try out the other products. I really wanted to try out all the face products but then I just opted for the eyeshadow palette so I could do a look so I really really like it and I'm really really excited to continue to use this. Overall I really loved Alamar Cosmetics and I definitely will be trying products from them in the future and I definitely will be using this palette a lot because these shadows were so good. I keep repeating myself but seriously eyeshadows were so good yeah that was pretty much my thoughts on the palette again i'm really really excited with how this look turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments and yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here if you guys liked it and if you guys like this look please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up let me know down below in the comments what magical gift from Encanto would you have? For me, I would cure someone with food. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me. Let's stay connected. Follow me on my socials. They're both just Kayla's Ever After. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!